You're watching S'more RV Tours. This is Darren Benson with Show Hauler Trucks. We're here at the last day RV show, the Hershey RV show, uh, featuring this 45 foot coach. Show Hauler is much different than most any other RV out on the market in that it's fully custom built and it's all welded steel frame versus most of the competition that's out there are vacuum on the walls that are screwed together. So a lot more structural integrity with a show hauler versus anything out there on the market. Coupled with the customization of the floor plan and some of the interior amenities as well. For the most part, we start with a class eight truck chassis. The most common truck chassis we use is the Freightliner Cascadia. The reason why we use the Cascadia, aside from me feeling it's the best driving, riding truck out there, we can cut more into the cab it's a lot more RV friendly as well. For the most part, most Class A, Class A Freightliner chassis are also a Freightliner dealer as well. So they're kind of accustomed to seeing RV customers come in their door versus, you know, you take say a Volvo chassis or a Peterbilt chassis, they really don't know kind of how to bunch you, kind of how to hound you. And for the most part, most Freightliner dealers will give it a little bit more speedy service to a truck chassis as opposed to a Class A as well. So that's Pretty cool feature about that. So this particular truck right here is the Cascadia 126. This is the long hood configuration. The engine on this is a DD16, so it's 15.6 liters. It is coupled to the Detroit transmission. It's a 12-speed automated manual transmission, which I feel is the best particular setup out there. Cool feature about any of the newer model Cascadias with all Detroit systems, it has the full Detroit Assurance package on it. So it has crash mitigation, it has adaptive cruise, it has lane departure warning. You can add another feature in that's a blind spot monitoring. We typically don't order our chassis with that because it's it pretty, pretty annoying. And for the most part, you can see pretty good to the right hand side of the coach. Unfortunately, it's locked right here, so we can't jump into the coach, but we'll come in from the inside. We want to do something a little bit different. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough time to put a paint job on this. We obviously do deliver, do deliver a fair amount of white coaches. So we left it white and then just did some of the black accessories and then put the black grill guard out front as well. So four slide coach. This is about 45 foot overall. It does have the additional ceiling height on it, which most of our coaches will have the additional ceiling height. Just gives a lot more roomier feeling than most RVs out there on the market. So we'll kind of just cruise around then we'll jump inside. So live rear tandem axles right here versus pretty much all the diesel pushers will have a tag axle right there. So the rear axle is not a live axle. So if you were in snow, ice, sand, or anything like that, you could easily take and lock the back axle into place. It does have hydronic heating on it. Most of our coaches will have hydronic heating. All We call them like essentially all electric coaches, but it's basically the, kind of the lack of propane right there. So that's your heating in your domestic water. We open this up for the show. The cool thing about this versus the other unit out in the market is if you do freeze the unit, you don't have to replace the entire unit. You can just simply replace this as heat exchanger right here. ITR is a great company to deal with. Uh, personally, I've got great relationships with those guys. I can always get parts from them and always get service, generally within about an hour or so for tops. We're all around back here. All of our trucks will have a 40,000 pound rear capacity. So this guy right here is basically rated at 40,000, while this assembly is only rated at 30,000. So we would need a different, different assembly if you were gonna take and try to put a 40,000 pound trailer back behind. There's obviously a fair amount, but the way that's set up, 30,000 and then 6,000 pound tongue weight right there. We generally always put a 50 amp plug here. The idea is to be able to power a trailer um, oddly enough, we kind of started doing a lot of racer units, but we've had so many crossover RV customers that are just tired of the cookie cutter units that are out there on the market. Uh, most people like the idea of having an engine out front of them as well. So we still do the plug there. We do a camera plug right there, and that's your standard trailer plug right there. Nice heavy duty aluminum ladder there for access up on the roof. There again, our competition doesn't even allow a roof for their, their particular models. So everything is very, very simplistic. Uh, in the day of age where everybody's trying to make things more complicated because of the digital age, we still do very, very, very simple things. So most of our toilets, whenever we, whenever we can configure them, 
just a standard gravity toilet. So we don't have to do macerated toilets. It kind of depends upon the floor plan. Of course, we can always add one of those, but try to keep things as simplistic as, as possible. Very simple, easy to use wet bay there. Right back here, we have a gray and a black, 72 gallons a piece, and then we have a combo tank up front for the front bath. Transfer switch, and then the 50 amp cord reel, that's automatic rolling in and just manual rolling out. As far as weight on this unit, it's gonna weigh right about 44,000 pounds empty. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of 58,000 pounds. So 40,000 pound rear and then a 18,000 pound front. Some more storage here. It's another thing. Uh, most of our competition, the placement of the generator will be rearwards of the axle. I'm not a big fan of that. You drive down the road, kick up a little bit of dirt, it sucks riding your generator. We'll run the generator right up here. So this is this front wet bay for this bath. All the plumbing, all the fresh lines, all the hydronic lines are actually run above the floor on our coaches versus most competition running in the floor. So we try to run our generators as far away from the bedroom as possible, of course, as far from your axles as well. We run a 12.5, so easy to run the three rooftop air conditioners and anything else on the coach. A little 3000 watt inverter, magnum inverter. We've had good luck with those. However, I've been a lot bigger fan of the Victron systems. In fact, we've done a lot of retrofits where we take and do the Victron inverters, solar controllers, the servo, and the Touch 7 monitor. Up here, we didn't do anything wild and crazy in regards to the battery, so just four 100 amp hour lithiums there. Uh, Battleborn's been a great company to partner with and install. Great customer service. In fact, they're right back behind us. They came over, you know, uh, the sales rep that we deal with that I text and ask questions is actually here at the show, which is pretty impressive. Single 120 gallon fuel tank, which is what you would get with the, any of the Detroit power systems. All the emissions devices are located on the opposite side of the truck. Your fuel tank, single 120 will be there and your def tank will be there right in front. So pretty easily accessible. I'm from Texas. Most of our fuel stops are really, really big. I don't like going to the truck stop, so it's nice to be able to just fuel on one side. So we added all the black stuff. The came standard with chrome, and we just took all these pieces off. These are all Freightliner pieces, and of course we added the big X-Guard grill guard up front. Really nice Gerard awnings up there. It's a nice, clean look. Uh, in comparison to most units, whenever you look down the roof, you see all the air conditioners and all the components up on the top. When those are closed up and it drives down the road, it's a lot cleaner look. It's a two-stage awning, so with them being relatively tall, it helps out. It said four slides, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, we don't build a set floor plan. We could build this coach with or without slides. We could build this exact same floor plan less that slide, we could build this exact same floor plan with the entry door up front, which is pretty much unheard of in the RV industry. Been a little tough on the show. I'm super OCD, so we'll get it all cleaned up whenever we get it back to Texas. But this was a Hershey themed unit. That's why the reason why we did a lot of the browns and the chocolate. And then of course, once we got here, we added a lot of the little features here. It's just driving me nuts, these little pieces of parts out of place. But uh, quartz countertops, we can do granite. So a lot of people, kind of the first question whenever people come in is why doesn't the dinette drop down? We could tip, we could actually do a drop down dinette, but I don't typically like to use a really lightweight man-made surface. I like to use granite or quartz. If you wanted to use it, we could, but our, you, Built, our units are built completely different than most other manufacturers. Our idea is we want something that's very, very solid. I don't want this thing jiggling while I'm driving down the road, and most of the convertible dinettes do. But we could typically build something uh, for anybody in regards to whatever they're looking for. Uh, so we built this obviously for more for a family, uh, but you could accommodate just two people if you needed. Uh, this floor plan can be built several different ways with or without the TV on the wall. We could do a window with the televator. So that's kind of the cool customization we can do with Show Hauler. But basic sleeping in this would be two there, 
two up top and then two there on the rear king bed. So I talked a little bit about the Freightliner Cascadia and the cool part about the Cascadia is we can cut this opening so much larger. So if we were on another chassis, one the opening would be a little bit narrower and then quite a bit, you know, quite a bit shorter. So the overall height would be probably about half of that. So we can do an arrow cap. Obviously we're trying to keep the, the kitties out for the show, but really, really ease entry into the cab itself. This is the all digital dash. So you can basically go through all your Detroit assurance. Uh, you can go through axle temperatures. There's so many different things. This is kind of the next wave of trucking. Of course, all the, all the systems are all recorded. You know, the idea being if you're out there on the road quite a bit, they can figure out what's going on, you know, after the fact, because all these, all this information is stored and recorded. So cruise around here. Um, for the most part, you know, we do get some questions in regards to customization. You know, if somebody says, hey, I want this, but I want this, I want this slide a foot shorter or a foot longer, or anything like that. We are somewhat limited, you know, we are somewhat limited on the uh, slide mechanisms we get from Liftco. We've been using the same Liftco slide for 20 years. Really doesn't give any problem. That's the reason why we keep on using that Liftco because we've had great, great use out of it. Kind of jumping around a little bit and I apologize, but so this would be a good feature right here. So if you don't want overhead cabinets, want this really large picture window, we could almost do anything as far as kind of what people are looking for. All heated tile floors, basically all residential appliances as well. A little half bath in here. So good room inside here. I do a little few YouTube videos myself. So anyway, I always kind of plop down here so people kind of see how much room you have in there. A lot of the units that the half bath, uh, there's one manufacturer that the half bath, uh, this door kind of comes at a little bit of an angle and it gets really, really tight. So even if you're a big boy, there's a fair amount of room inside these guys right here. Pantry here, washer dryer, we'll flip flop again. take this guy off. Part of my OCD is I, want, I don't want people operating everything. So we put a lot of signs on these because the amount of traffic that we get inside them. So washer dryer there, pantry, try to catch this. So uh, pull out drawers right here. Some of our snacks that are in there from throughout the week, but that's kind of the cool part. So, you know, you can actually get an elevation drawing on all the cabinets and say, you know what, Darren, I need two drawers or I want four drawers or I want no drawers. I want the basic, that cabinet, I don't know if you can catch this, the cabinet right here, which is all convertible. You could say, hey, I want this not for any kind of storage, but I want to be able to just do another uh, closet right there. So we'll come back to the bathroom right here. So opposing slides back here as well. Uh, all the fresh water is below the bed on this. I'll flop right back here. 275 gallon water tanks below the bed. Part of the deal, like you know, I hinted to earlier with all of the fresh water and all of the drain lines above the floor, uh, that's part of the reason why we keep the water tanks above so we don't have to worry about anything freezing down below the floor. Like I said, these, well, these do come in. Uh, you, can, you, could set, you could technically still use this coach right here if all the slides were in. You wouldn't be able to walk here, but you'd at least be able to lay down in the bed. So if you pulled over somewhere in a rest area and wanted to be able to sleep for the night, not a problem. So this particular unit right here, we just decided to do the big 43 inch TV right here uh, to give a little bit more closet storage. Now we could say, you know, if a customer says, hey, Darren, I, I don't want the window at the head of my bed. You know, I, either it freaks me out or, hey, I like to lay in bed and, you know, sit up in the morning and watch TV or drink my coffee or anything like that. We could actually do the egress window over here. Now this TV would have to get a little bit smaller, but that's, you know, that's some of the cool customization we can get done. So I don't know if you can catch that in there. It doesn't go all the way through because we have some electronics that go down. It's relatively deep there. Most of the people who've come in uh, the show during the week comment about the ceiling height. You know, I'm just a little over six foot tall. And if you're a tall guy, most people in most RVs, they come in and they say, well, it just feels really, really, really small. And that's one thing that draws people to the product as well. As well. Um, you know, I, I used a unit <coughs> that was a truck for about two weeks the other day. 
and you know it was a nice unit it served its purpose uh, and then we jumped in this rig to bring it here to the show last week and I just became a little bit, I came accustomed to that lower ceiling height than I get in this and everything feels so much bigger, so much larger. So all pocket doors. So we do solid surface all the way around, like I said, granite, quartz, whatever a person might want. And this is where we did the regular manual flushing toilet because we're right on top of the black water tank. Lots of storage here. We try to utilize every single square inch. So there's actually an access right here. So you could take and put some extra toilet paper there and then you could access it all the way around here. So we really think about all the cabinets that are designed and drawn out uh, and we try to make changes if we ever see something that doesn't seem quite to fit. I'll leave this open just to kind of not catch that. Really beautiful tile shower. I typically don't like doing polished tile floors. They're again the OCD with scratches and whatnot. But I like to do the polished tile in the showers. Just the water beads off a little bit better. Uh, and then of course you know, a, little bit, a little bit more, a little bit brighter inside as well. We do the two shower inserts right here for people that are gung-ho on shower, you know, shampoo, conditioner, everything like that. So it's a pretty nice setup right here. And for some of the people that have watched me on my channel, I'm never a fan of a skylight above here. Um, I say it gets relatively hot. Even whenever it's a relatively cool day, you have so much uh, light coming in. Addition to, you know, just another potential place for it to leak. So just kind of a, this all is about serviceability here. really appreciate the opportunity to do this quick video here at the Hershey RV Show. Thanks out or shout out to S'mores RV Tour uh, to come in and do the tour. Uh, cool experience having somebody else come in and video video of me versus my uh, lovely spouse that does it on a pretty frequent basis but uh, cool place to be um, we obviously appreciate anybody that's out there on YouTube because the more they share the more awareness of the product that we have out there so it's a very very cool thing uh, very grassroots as well so I uh, appreciate you guys coming in checking things out make sure you guys do like tag and subscribe to this channel here Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for s'more videos. They're coming soon.